Here we go then, yet another conditioning session on the straw bales outside in the pouring rain. When will I ever learn? That's another layer put on there. So that is the fourth of a full whack. Now it's supposed to rain all day today, but knowing my luck, it won't. This is why I've got my um, wax jacket on. It was pouring down when I left the house and it's all right now. Weird, isn't it? I can't, they say, you know, predict the weather, but you can't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of water on it just in case it doesn't rain, because knowing my luck, it won't rain. Well, there we are, and it's warmer lower down, look, see? So I was measuring it wrong, really. That's a good six degrees above ambient. Oh, where are we? Yeah. Yeah, oh, 15, 15, 16. 15.7, 15.8. You're right guys, just back from the plot. And it was pouring with rain or, you know, on and off raining. And I said, I won't bother watering in the uh, the conditioner on the uh, the fertilizer on the straw bales because it's, it's going to rainy day. And look at it, oh, I don't know, I give up. Right, I want to get my broad beans in. I'm not going to sow these direct. And what I've, I've had one of those little um, epiphanies again. Why grow them on the allotment when I get plagued with pigeons, etc. I might as well put them in my front garden. <laughs> Sometimes the simplest things, they just totally escape you, don't they? But anyway, oh, what I'm going to use is, this has been kindly sent to me by Ian um, at Grow Local. It's the Garland 28 Plant Cell Deep Root Success Kit. Now I've never used one of these before, so this is a first for me. Um, it's got all the destructions on it as usual. Yeah, fill the cells with moist compost, remove each set of cells from the... Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to put that down there and take it, show you what we got. We got a lid, a holding tray, which is also a watering tray. I'm going to put that down there a second. And seven lots of four cell deep root trainers. And they come apart like this. Oh, so <laughs> Fingers. So they'll be easy to take apart when the uh, the beans grow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up. Now I'll do it over the tray, but I'll take them out to shake out any excess so there's none sort of sat in the, the watering trough, if you like. And what I'm going to top the cells up with is this compost that's just arrived ooh, from Atlantic Garden. And look at this packaging, isn't it brilliant? recyclable or compostable um, bag and there's I think this is that 30 litres yeah and oh, here we go there's been music and machinery blaring all morning anyway and if you think it's not strong not a strong bag it is <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I'm not open this yet at all I'm gonna open it now and what I'll do I'll put it in my little um my ready used compost bin, you know, not compost, compost, potting compost bin. Let's have a look. Let's do it like this. I won't be able to pick it up afterwards. Oh, look at that. That is, I mean, that is like, <laughs> you probably heard the words loads of times, but it's like black gold. Yeah, so I think it's 20% um, seaweed in it. I featured Guy on my garden press event video, the, the one where yet another audio mess up, yeah. So hopefully this will do a uh, pay back in spades, as they say. All right, so I'll push that over there a bit, get that in there. And I'm gonna top it up from here, save me lugging so much around in a minute, right. I'll tell you what, it is nice and fine. Be good for seed starting. <laughs> Which is what I'm doing really, isn't it? I'm saying they're big seeds. I'll tell you what, that is just falling into those cells. Oh, yeah. Making a right mess here, Steve. Oh. A few little twigs in it, as you'd expect. Nothing too drastic though, I mean it's quite, it is very fine. 
There we are then, that can go in my recycling bin. Right. Because my table's a bit a bit wet, isn't it, after that rain we just had. Right, here we are then. Ooh. See, I'm liking this and I'm liking the compost, so we got a winning combo here. It's a bit crooked there, let's get your mouse better. Right, so we need to 28 cells, that's how many seeds we got. These are Bunyard's Exhibition. Oh. Might have a double sew in here, look. Just going to push them in about an inch. Don't really care which way they're facing because they always sort themselves out. Just keep my eye out for any manky ones, but they all look alright so far. One, two, three, and I've got two left over, so what I'll do there, I'll double up on two of them. There we are, I'll cover them up in a minute. And these are uh, Grand Violetto. I don't think I've got 12 of them, but oh, I don't. Maybe. One, two, ha! Huh. Yeah, exactly the right number. Love it. Right, I'm going to give those a quick covering over, a quick watering, and um, I'll probably leave these outside actually. There's no point putting them in the greenhouse. Right, well, that's it then. We've got the broad beans in the Atlantic Garden compost, in the 28 cell deep root success kit. Uh, with a lid on, so I think I'm just going to leave this outside because there's going to be quite a bit of warmth. Uh, <laughs> little boy has to put his finger in there. Um, yeah, that'll be warm, wouldn't it, with the lid on? So I'll leave it outside for now, see how it goes. Right then, on with some tomatoes. I'll probably do most of these indoors because I don't know if you can hear it, but it's bugging me. Right then, guys, it's tomato time, tomato time, and I've got uh, I think it's 60 varieties here. <laughs> And I'm going to do, where I can, six of each. So they're going in these uh, Jiffy 7 plugs again, and spookily, six fit nicely up there, so lollipop stick in between. And what I'll do, I will um, label them, just with a number, T1, T2, T3, as I sow them. Because I know that some of them have got less than six seeds in the packet. Um, some of them, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, some I used last year for a start. So, And all I'm going to do is... Start at the beginning. <laughs> Abe Lincoln from Jason and Colleen over there in America. So, right in, get the uh, tape off. Right, how many we got in here? The hell, we got more than six in there. So, here we are then. T1. <laughs> here we go, guys. T1. Now, even though they've got a little tiny hole in the top of these pellets, I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper. And this year, I'm not going to put vermiculite on top. I'm going to push the the peaty stuff back over the top. And you may notice that they're not totally soaking wet. So what I'll do as well, I'll, I'll water them again afterwards. Right then. Probably best to do this indoors, really, Steve, but, you know. Never been accused of being sensible, mate. Lost count already. Four, five, six, and a few spares. At the back. <laughs> Making sure the seed doesn't stick to the uh, skewer because it'll be in the next one otherwise. Well, that's it then. I'll uh, bring you back after I've done all uh, about 360, I think. <laughs> right. And here we are then. <laughs> about 300. Um, plugs all done. 
I'm making room to get the value of pub soon because the herbs are coming out. Phew, right then. I just sieved out a load of that um, Atlantic Garden compost to make some seed compost. And I'll tell you what, I have fine stuff. The only sort of thing that's in there are little sticks like that, you know, maybe three millimetres diameter little twigs, but they're no more than, I don't know, 20 mil long. I'm trying to find one now. I've left in here on purpose, but I can't find it here. That's the sort of thing that's in there. So yeah, brilliant. So it almost didn't need sieving, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is going to put a, a bit of vermiculite -like in it just to stop it going all um, sticking together, you know what I mean? And what I've got to do, I've got to get some lettuce sown. So, God, I'll tell you what, this is lovely stuff. I know, yeah, it's probably, for me, it's probably one of the nicest composts I've felt. You know what I mean? Look at that. It's just, it's just right. Just the right amount of moisture from the bag as well. So anyway, let's put that there. I'm using the Jeremy, um, the Jeremy Small. Now this has got, I can't remember what it is now. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 16, 41 cells. So, spookily, I've got quite a few different lettuces to sow, wherever I put them. There they are, I don't know, I'll get them in a minute. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill this. Oop. Here. Oh, that wind's just picked up again. I'm gonna fill that here, and that should fill very, very easily. Yeah. Give it a little push down just so they're a bit firm. There we are. Brilliant. Ooh, all there. <laughs> right, let's turn this out the way for you. I'm not going to tip over. Right, now what I'm going to do, and I said the other day, I'm not going to sow different plants, different uh, veggies, etc. in the germies, but I am. <laughs> because these are all lettuces. So I'm going to put an X there, and what I'm going to do is draw a little map I've got a different bit of paper there. Oh, pencil. Pencil's always best in the wet. So it goes 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. So I'm going to do a little map of 5-4, uh, 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, five, four, five, one, two, three, four. There's five fives. One, two, three, four, four, five. Like that. And then as I sewed them, I'll just write down underneath what I've sewn in each one, so it'll be five of them, four of them, five of them, four of them, etc. So that makes sense to me. <laughs> and what I'm using for these is um, my my R Z lettuce. Now these are remnants of, from over the last couple of years, so some have got more than one, um, some have got quite a few, some have only got four in. So when I use the four one, like that Halfex, I'll make sure it goes in the four. Yeah, there we are. So we start off. I've got to write these down as well, so uh, bear with me. For my master plan, so that's Jocotta. So I've got five of these, and these are all pelleted, which is really good. There's six there, silly. Put them on top. I've always had great success with these. Uh, they, these could be, could be getting a little bit old now, I'm not sure. So let's put that one there so I don't redo it. That's the one with four in it, Halfex, Halflex. I can't remember what, which sort they all are now. There's all types, there's incised, there's cast, there's butterhead, um, and uh, oak leaf, there's all types in here. So rather than go back to the website and look at them all, I'm gonna uh, just grow them and then see which ones are viable, which ones I've got left, and they'll be ready for the show in Barclay. Right, so I'll bring you back in a second when I've got them all in. Here we are then, all in. So I'm going to do a little stick and just poke them in a little bit, just a little bit. And then add a little bit of vermiculite on top. A 
little bit of water, if I find my watering can. That'll do it. And that can go on top of one of the spider farmer lights because I've made a bit of room there now. Yep, yeah, right then. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>